all right guys so um in this video i want to show you how you can run facebook and instagram adverts for your e-commerce business all right so this is important because if you have a good product you have everything and you cannot get it to the people who need it you are just wasting your time all right so we have to run facebook and instagram adverts to people who are going to buy this product this is the easiest way this is the fastest way for you to get to get your sales all right so my name is goodwill and i make videos like this so if this is your first time of seeing this um, youtube channel or your first time of watching my videos i make videos that revolve around e-commerce affiliate marketing digital marketing and all of that good stuff so in this video we want to talk about how you can create the advert itself so we'll be walking you through the process involved or the processes involved on how you can create your first um, um, advert so the first thing we need to do is i'm assuming that we already have a product and um, we already have our sales our sales page i will not be covering that in this video because that's um, um and a completely different um, process altogether so we are here on the facebook business manager so if you do not know how to get here you have to come to business.facebook.com this is where most of the adverts you see are created from they create the adverts from here so don't go to your facebook page and go and click um, boost posts and all of that you will be wasting your money if um, you do it from there so this is the right way for you to do it so you come to your facebook business at facebook.com i'll put a link below you and create a business account although it's very very simple all you have to do is just log into this account this business.facebook.com with your regular facebook account that's all you need to do then you have um, an ad account and you can now land right here so we we want to create an advert so i come here yes is um, create so i click on create all right so if you run an e-commerce um business and the advert you want to run is for e-commerce then this is very important for you the conversion campaign is the advert you should be running or, or the advert you should focus on this is because this is um like the most important category of the facebook advert um, audience them or objective or campaign objective all right but to be able to run a campaign a conversion campaign you need to have a website and you need to have some um set of events i already created all these videos before now so i'll put the links you need in the description of this video so i'll put the link on how you can create your facebook diesel how you can create a business account how you can verify your domain and all the setup that you need to make sure that your adverts work well all right because you need to make a you need to have a proper setup to run a conversion campaign but if you do not have a website and you still want to run a campaign for your e-commerce you can run messages campaign all right this one is simple it simply means you want people to send you messages these messages can be directly to your whatsapp or to your instagram dm or to your facebook messenger all right so you can select all three of them or one of them alternatively if you do not want to run this advert you can equally run an engagement campaign an engagement campaign may not give you a lot of sales as you would want at the start or forever but it's going to help your advert especially in nigeria all right so these are the three campaigns you should run in my opinion so we will look at how you can create an engagement campaign a messages campaign and a conversion campaign all right so practically all these things are the same the objectives are just different all right so let's the engagement campaign so you come here and the campaign type you want select the campaign type you want so we are just going to look at engagement campaign and down here we have selected post engagement what it means is that we want people to see our product and engage with it all right so these engagements will include people to like the post people to comment people to share it and all of that so you may not really be getting a lot of sales with this 
but it can be very helpful if you know what you are doing all right so let's create an engagement campaign so we, we go all right so you can name your campaign so let's just name it um, testing 101 or ecom ecom 101 all right so let's let me close this so that we need to do for there you click on next you can equally name the ad set name you can equally rename it so why you do the naming is so that it will be easy for you to understand what you are doing because as you continue to run out the your interface will be um, um, busy so you have, have to name it accordingly so that you know what is working and what is not working all right so from here you can set the budget that you want you can set any amount from one dollar i think one dollar is the minimum you can run you can pay for an advert daily so you put the amount you want so i'm just going to leave it at this amount all right so this is the start date you can set when you want the advert to start but i just give my own to start whenever they approve the advert all right so you can give your assistance so if you already have an audience you can select but you are new so you do not have an audience now you can select the location where you want this um these people to to come from we are now where we do our targeting so facebook gives you the chance or the opportunity to target people from all around the world or from where they use facebook all right facebook and instagram so you can select the location based on countries cities um, towns local governments and stuff like that so you come here where it says um, um locations all right so here where it says location this is important if you sell an e-commerce product and you do not have the ability to deliver all around the country this will be very important for you because by default it is it is checked at um, people living or recently in this location all right but that's a more is that if you if you are in lagos and you are selling this product and you want to target people who are in lagos and you pick this option it simply means that facebook is going to be targeting not only people who live in lagos but people who visited lagos recently so if i if i if i stay in Kano but i visited lagos recently i'm going to see the advert even though i've gone back to Kano. so you may not need that so you have to pick people who live in this location but if you feel you can you can service everybody you can leave you can leave all of that but to be precise I always keep it at people who live in that location because we don't want the advert to be jumping and jumping so now you can select the countries you want or the states you want or the local governments you want so i'm just going to leave it here to be nigeria to be nigeria because we want to target the entire country but you might want to to um, narrow it down so you can put by states you can put lagos or you can put abuja abuja rivers so you just put these things based on the research you've done where you think your your um, customers will be all right or where you want to target so you have the option to do that so i'm just going to leave it at them um, Lagos Abuja for the purpose of this video. All right. So here you select you have to select your the age range where you want um, the age range that you want to see this advert. So you can keep it from again the age the people who you think are able to afford this ad the the product you want to sell or the people who actually um, need it. Like um, you can target from let's say if you sell a product that you think people from 30 years will find it more useful all right you can select from 30 all right if you think it's for people from um, below from above 25 to to below 40 all right you can set it up as you want so this is i'm just going to leave it but you can do whatever you want here so as we go you can see that our potential is reducing based on what we are selecting here so now let's go to gender you can select gender if your product um, solves this problem particularly for women you can 
select just women. If it is just for men, you can select just men. If it is general, you can leave it to be for all. All right. So here is called detailed targeting. Detailed targeting means that you can target people based on their interests, their demographics, and their behavior. So if you have a product that you think it's in, it's it's for people who are interested in a particular thing, then this is going to be very very important for us let's say let's say we are trying to sell um, um maybe a food related product of course i was going to use that example anyways and i know you know this so let's say we sell a food related product so you come here and you type the search for food so when you type food you you hit enter so from here you can see facebook will give you some targeting options like uh, these are interests all right so if we select this we are targeting people who are interested in fast food all right so if you click here you can see it gives you a description people who have expressed an interest in or like pages related to fast food all right so you select the targeting you want so i'm just going to keep it simple as possible all right now we come down here here it says placement keep it at automatic placement you are telling facebook that wants you to do this job for us put this advert anywhere you think is going to work out fine all right so facebook will we put the advert anywhere they think will work out fine all right i personally do not recommend that so i go for manual placement especially from the scratch all right so if you are starting and you do not have a lot of money so you use manual you use manual so that you can be able so you are able to control where your ads will be shown so if you think people who need your products are on instagram it doesn't make any sense that facebook is going to show this advert to people who are in the facebook audience network or in articles and stuff like that okay so we want this advert to show on just instagram and facebook all right because that's where we think the people who buy these things are so down here you can still select placements so on Facebook, these adverts are shown in different parts of Facebook. Some are shown to the right column, some are on the left column, some are on the news feed where people scroll. All right. And if you go to Instagram, some adverts are on the page, some are on the Instagram shops, some are on the, the Instagram reels, stuff like that. So we want to define where we want our adverts to be. So if you, if you are not sure of all these things and you just want to um let it go wherever it goes you can just leave all these things checked but if you are sure you can uncheck everything you want here we don't want it on facebook marketplace we want it to just show on the facebook news feed and the instagram feed feed all right that means people who are scrolling are going to be the ones to see this the advert but if you want any other options you can just check them from here and facebook will put the adverts there but these are just the two ones for the purpose of this video all right so we go on so that's practically all we need to do for here so we go to the next phase where we have to upload the the ad itself because this what we have what we just passed is the ad set level so here we select the page where we want this advert to run from because you need a page to be able to run um, a Facebook and Instagram advert. So if you do not know how to create a page, I have I've created a video like that already. So you can look through my channel or I'll put the link in the description for you to see how you can create your Facebook page. Now, since we've selected Instagram, since we've selected that one this this advert to show on Instagram, and we have equally selected a manual placement, we must select a page that is connected to Instagram. Again, if you do not know how to connect your Instagram to your Facebook page, I already made a video too. I'll put it in the description. All right. So now I will have to select my one of my pages that is um, connected to, to Instagram. So let me look for the one we are going to use. So let me use this one. So this, the moment you select the page and the page is connected, the Instagram is connected to we pop directly, instantly. 
all right so if you want to run the face if you want to run the campaign on instagram and you do not have an instagram account that means you have to place your ad placement set to automatic all right so that's how you do it now this is the ad setup so if you want to use a post from your facebook page or your instagram page you've made this post before you want to use it you leave it at this existing post all right that means you can select one of the posts you've made before and just sponsor the post but sometimes when you see some adverts and you go to the post their pages maybe on instagram or facebook you don't see that very advert that's because they use this one which is called create ad so this advert will run but people will not see that very post on their um, their profile so it depends on what you want so you select the one you want so for the purpose of this video i'm just to use create ad so that you see how all these things are done all right so we've created we've selected create ad. so we come down here where it says we need to create we need to add media so the media we can add here is um, either a video or an image so if you have images of your products you select it if you, if you want to use a video you use a video so if you sell a um, product you have to test some of them test pictures test videos and see the creativity works fine these videos tend to work better than pictures especially for um, products physical products all right so we are just going to select a video a video so right here you are going to be asked to upload the video you want all right so if you wanted to let me go back and show you something let me close that so if you wanted to use your existing posts and you select existing posts when you come down here where it says select posts you can select the post or create the post immediately so if you come to select posts it's going to show you all the posts that you have on that very page you've selected so these are these are on my Facebook page. This is um, one of the posts I've I, I have created before. Uh, and on Instagram, you can come here and select any of the posts you want. All right. So that's that's um, how you, you that's how you do it for one when you want to use existing posts. So let's just use a create ad, and then we come to add media. And I'm just going to use an image, but they are practically the same thing. You use a picture or an image, and then you upload it all right so i'm just going to use this picture i'm just going to use this one because i don't have any picture i've prepared for this video so this is how this 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 picture is going to appear on um i think this is the instagram feed all right, all right. so we go to next so it's going to show you a preview of how these things we show so this is how it shows on Facebook and this is how it shows on Instagram. So down here, this is where you put your primary test or the ad copy. Alright, so we put our primary test, say short bespoke. So you have to write something that um, we compel people to check out your product, bespoke shirts. So I'm just writing this off the dorm. I didn't plan this, I'm just writing it. Alright. So, you write this, you can decide to put the link, the link to your landing page or your sales page here too. So, you can paste the link here or you come down here, you select this, this is your call to action button. So, if you come down here, this is, we do not have any call to action button here. So, if we add one now, I want them to shop now, it's going to come up here. So, this is what they are going to be seeing. So, as you can see on Instagram, is up here. Here it says shop now. Very easy. So we need to add a link, all right. We need to add a a link to this, all right. So here, this is where you add your website link or your sales page link, all right, or your landing page. So I'm just going to add a link to this. So let's say this is a link where we have created our sales page, and so you see how it's going to show the shop now is now here. So they click this link and it will take them to your product page all right so so you see it's the same thing 
you can click on shop now and it will take them to um, the sales page or your landing page so now i do not have any payment method attached but if you do all you have to do is hit on publish when you've um, completed all the setup so once you hit on publish the adverts will go to review and the facebook team will review it and after reviewing it they will approve the advert so this is basically how you create your facebook adverts and it's going to be running on instagram and facebook at the same time for your your product so it's practically the same thing with running a conversion campaign so down here where you have um, um event you just have to select a pixel that you want to track for or you want to track to or track from all right so you must have a pixel setup and all of that but all of these processes i have a detailed video that explains each process and i'll put all the links in the description video so that my friend is how you create your facebook and instagram adverts for your e-commerce product i hope you find this video useful if you do you should subscribe to this youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet and um if you think this video was helpful to you you can like this video so that a lot of persons will see it and this video will do better for the youtube system so that all for today i'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching and bye-bye.